welcome to day one of our restorative classes. For this practice, you're welcome to make it as comfortable and as cozy as comfortable for you. So maybe find a blanket for a little bit of extra cushion. We'll need a bolster or some sort of cushion for a little bit of support and blocks are always an option as well. So let's get started. We're gonna be primarily laying down for all of these practices to take the time to create the space of deep relaxation. So let's go ahead and place our bolster at the end of our mat. And we're simply going to rest our legs over the cushion. You can have a thinner pillow, a higher pillow, as long as we're creating space for a bend in the knees to be supported and ideally the heels are resting on the floor. If it's comfortable for you to have a little bit of a turnout with your thighs and knees, a little external rotation through the hips, feel free to allow that. But the first few moments, we're simply giving the body permission to relax. So if it would feel better to have a cushion behind the head, know that you can do that. But ideally, we want our back to be pretty neutral here. Your placement of the hands is up to you. You can turn the palms up to help create that opening across the chest, a little bit more space around the heart. Or if it feels better, a little bit more contained, you can rest the hands on the belly. And primarily throughout the class, you'll be encouraged to have your eyes gently closed. Our restorative practice is here to encourage a place of deep relaxation, an opportunity to reset and replenish. So snuggle in, get comfortable, get cozy. Be sure that your temperature is comfortable. Sometimes it's nice to have a blanket nearby or a sweater if you get chilly because we won't be doing a ton of moving. But as we begin to settle in, just simply feel the weight of the body sink into the floor. to allow the body to systematically relax and release. Find that space where you can encourage the brow to relax. The eyelids to be heavy, maybe even softly closed if it feels comfortable. tongue be heavy in your mouth and create a little bit of space between the teeth, allowing your jaw to be soft, releasing any last held tension in the face. Perhaps notice if you can feel the weight of the head as it sinks into your cushion, or beneath you. Let your shoulders be heavy. Perhaps feel the weight of the arms sink into the floor or the weight of the hands rest on your skin. You may become aware of the rise and fall of the belly. Notice if you can feel the breath draw up into the chest.
at the hips and pelvis, round into the earth. You can feel your thighs rolling a little bit wide. There's a soft bend behind the knees. Feel the calves either resting on the floor or on a cushion. The heels heavy. Notice if you can feel your whole body sort of heavy yet weightless. Almost as if it's floating on the surface of the floor. Allowing your awareness to fall upon the breath. When you find that space, the breath is smooth and full, but the effort is soft. Slowly guiding your awareness back to the body. Start to move gently, wiggle your fingers, and your toes. And trying to find as little movement as possible. Begin to slowly roll onto your right side, getting into your fetal position. From here, begin to reach for your bolster so that you're able to place it at the top end of your mat and coming down into that right side of your fetal position. So ideally, allowing the lower right shoulder to be on the floor, stacking the left shoulder on top. The hips can stack. You're welcome to let your knees stack. If it would support your body to have a blanket or a block in between the knees to help support the hips in neutral, please feel free to adjust. Our bolster here is like a pillow just to support the head. If it doesn't feel good to have the head supported on a prop, know that you can always lower it down onto the floor. Take your time, sometimes laying on your side, depending on any sort of shoulder injury, might not be super comfortable. So feel free to adjust as needed. And coming back to that space of deep relaxation. Notice if there are areas of tension where you might be holding, where you might be remaining engaged. Just let the body relax.
allowing the body to take deep, full breaths and sighing exhales can create a relaxation response within the body. few rounds of breath here, resting on your right side. to slowly allow your top left arm to start to drop up towards the ceiling. As the arm extends and the fingertips reach, begin to slowly roll the left side of your chest, maybe rolling onto the back of your head. Try and keep the knees heavy here. It's more about opening across the chest versus deepening the twist in the spine. Again, make any sort of fine adjustments, wiggling and nestling the body into the floor. And don't be worried if that left arm doesn't touch down on the ground. Mine's raised a few inches. I just let gravity do the work here. But if you're working with any sort of injury through the front of the chest and pec, know that you can always roll the shoulder back and then simply rest the arm on the left upper hip. But if it feels okay, keep it open and keep it lifted so that gravity can help open the front of that left side of the chest. full breaths here again giving the body permission to unravel any sort of tension we use our breath to help open the body on the inhale and release the tension with each exhale
lines of breath here. Perhaps drawing some deep breaths all the way up to the top of the collarbones. Emptying out, pulling the navel in towards the spine at the bottom of the exhale. Those of us that have our arm out into T, slowly start to draw this left arm down to simply rest on the left side of the body. It might feel good to roll onto that lower right ear. And simply take a few rounds of breath here, letting that left side of the chest soften and release. Pressing into the outer right hip, start to roll onto your back body. We'll set ourselves up onto our left side. So turning to your left side, coming into your fetal position. Again, take a moment to allow the hips to stack, the shoulders to stack, and maybe place your cushion underneath the head maybe a block or a pillow in between the knees. I personally like to just nestle my top right knee behind my lower left. It might feel nice to rest the forearms on top of each other, sort of resting the hands together. Notice how it feels to rest on your side. For some, it's a comforting position. It reminds you of sleeping. Again, of course, know that you can adjust at any time. If there's any sort of tension building in the body, please adjust. Please support the body with any sort of movement to release. And then come back in, settling back down.
deepening breath. Begin to raise that top right arm, extending it up towards the sky, taking your time. Begin to slowly roll to the back of the head as this right arm comes back behind you. Again, try and keep the thighs and knees heavy. Mindful that the second side might be different, especially if you hold tension a little bit deeper through that right side of the chest. If you're more right-handed, there may be more sensation. So honor the body. If it supports you to place a pillow or a block or a stack of books underneath that right hand to have something to let the weight fall into, please feel free to do so. If it feels good to let gravity do the work, let this right side of your pec shoulder start to open and release the tension that you may be carrying As we come to completion here, start to slowly lower this right arm so that it can begin to rest on the top right side of the body. Maybe roll the head a little bit more to rest on the left ear. Take a few rounds of breath here as that right shoulder softens.
to work towards our final posture, our corpse pose. So if you're working with a cushion underneath the head, you're welcome to continue to or tuck it to the side. We'll begin to roll onto our back body again, nice and easy. Place the feet, adjust the hips. Find your way supported on the floor or your mat. Begin to lengthen the legs long and let the feet come wide. Feel free to take up space. Maybe the arms are resting down alongside the body. Again, it might feel good to turn the palms up, letting the fingers gently curl in. The feet might flop open. There may be a soft little bend in the knees. Find the place where, again, the spine is fully supported here. Our natural curve to the lower lumbar, lifting away from the floor. And that natural curve to the back of the neck. Allow the throat to be soft and the weight of the head to sink into the floor again, just like at the beginning of class. Notice if you're able to come right back to that place of softness within the body. Relaxed brow, soft jaw, soft belly. yourself permission to just be here. As we come to completion of our restorative practice, begin to find some soft bits of movement in your fingers, in your toes, and you roll out the wrists and the ankles. And when you feel ready to get up, take your time as you slowly start to begin your day or complete and see if you can take this space of relaxation 